Hi everyone. Uh, welcome to Frala Knits. My name is Stephanie. My pronouns are she, her, and welcome to my first video of 2024. It's been about a month and it's been a month. Um, the last time you saw me, I was going over my 2024 plans and my 12 days of Christmas plans. And well, you know, what are plans if you aren't going to break them? So here we are. Um, I guess I'll get right on into it. We have had some crazy happening around here and, uh, you know, it might come up throughout the video, but uh, we will see. So where I left you off, I had plans for the 12 days of Christmas. I had 12 projects chosen and uh, let me show you where I got with that. So, first day of Christmas, I plan to start Forest Home by the Blue Flower. It is cute, and I chose this one because there is one beaver chewing. So, I stitched on the beaver, and that's what I got. Um, I'm doing my own floss conversion, and yeah, not really much to say. Uh, this is... I, I love the chart. It's gonna go away for some amount of time. Not sure when it'll come back out, but uh, there, first day of Christmas. All right, so then I got to the second day of Christmas. <laughs> oh, plans. And I was supposed to stitch on, I believe it's called Acorn Manor. It was by Fox and Rabbit. And when I planned these projects, I didn't actually pull fabric and floss. I'm like, I'll just do a day of whatever. So I go to pull fabric for um, Acorn Manor. Oh my goodness, that pattern was huge. I had no fabric big enough. It wasn't going to fit in a fat quarter. So I, second day of Christmas, had to go looking for something else. I ended up choosing, I'll have to insert it here. It is called Story of a Shepherdess Winter. It's, um, it was from Etsy, a store called Tralala -la Collection. They're a French designer and I, I love so much of what they do. <laughs> uh, so this will not be the only um, stitch you see from them. But anyway, so I, chose this one because there are two braids on the shepherdess um and yeah so again pulling my own flosses i have this on a piece of what are you uh picture this plus legacy 36 count and i believe it's going to fit in this one corner Blunk. and my plan is there's shepherdess for all of the seasons and so uh, if you've been here with me for a bit you'll know I love sheep and I thought that this would be great to I don't know do some sort of soft finish probably if I can get all four of them stitched up together so that was my second day of Christmas third day of Christmas I went back to my plans and I stitched on coldest of days by Teresa Kogut uh, again, pulling all of my own flosses, mostly hand dyed by Rolanda. Uh, probably some Roxy floss in there as well. It's back in the Q-snap because I was stitching on it today. So here's as far as I got. I chose it because there were three birds. There I did one of the birds. Here's part of her wing, uh, the ginormous dress. I kind of just wanted to play with all of the floss colors that I had chosen to see how they work together and work with the fabric. And so far, I am loving it. So that's the coldest of days. Uh, day number four, I chose the Sampler com Company um, by Brenda Keys. This is Sampler Musings. I chose this because there's four boxes of stitching. And on the fourth day of Christmas, I did stitch all four of them. And then I started in on some of the motifs in one of them. So there's where I got to. Now, whenever I want to go back to it, I have it all mapped out and I can just pick and jump right in. All right, fifth day. 
still going strong. I chose Find Joy by Yasmin's Made with Love. And I chose it because there's five flowers. Cute. And I love the sentiment, <laughs> Find Joy and Simplicity. Which, um, I guess if someone's going to be doing 12 starts over the 12 days of Christmas, maybe isn't following that sentiment, but you'll see what happens. <laughs> so here it is. And I got quite a bit done on this. Look at that. It's cute. I love kind of the folksy look to it. Lovely. Lovely. So then I hit the sixth day of Christmas and I was not, I, I wasn't really feeling, I had chosen to do, what was it? Beehive Cottage by Yasmin's Made with Love. I just, I wasn't, I, I, I wasn't feeling the pattern that day. I really shouldn't be <laughs> pre-choosing all of these things. I'm very much a mood slash seasonal stitcher. So I wasn't feeling the beehive and I spent literally two hours on Etsy and different designers' websites looking for, and actually I was flipping through, I have, um, what is it called? The Gift of Stitching. They are an older magazine and they sell all of their back issues digitally. I scrolled through all of those. I went through like the magazines that I could find um, through my library digitally. I went through my Just Cross Stitch. I went through Etsy. I was looking for anything. Two hours later, hadn't found anything I actually wanted to stitch on for the sixth day. So I was like, well, plans are made to be broken. <laughs> and I think I just picked up one of the ones that I'd already started and worked on that. Now, there were still a few projects that I had planned for my 12 days that I was really, really wanting to get started. One of which was, um, I think it was the 11th day, I was going to start Everflowering Garden by owl forest um and yeah i ha i had that all kitted up with fabric and flosses i wanted to use so i thought you know what i'll just kind of keep doing my own thing i will start that one at some point well um on the seventh day of christmas i got a puppy <laughs> oh my goodness i have been wanting a tiny dog for quite some time. Our previous tiny dog passed away um, almost 10 months, 10 and a half months ago. So I was definitely missing the yapping every time someone comes to the door, <laughs> the shadow that I have. So I got a puppy which threw all plans for any crafting or house tidying or sanity <laughs> out the window so yes that was on new year's eve puppy uh her name is raven and she's delightful <laughs> all right so i do have another new start since the new year so we got a puppy and we already have a large dog and two cats one of which is just over a year old and still very much kitten so um those first three days of the new year were pretty intense with everyone kind of figuring out where they belonged in the hierarchy of pets in our household and there was a lot of growling and barking and hissing and all of that so it made me think of um, a long dog sampler chart called Paws and Claws. I'll put a picture of it in here. It uh, is available on the website, I believe, but I have it from that uh, The Gift of Stitching magazine. It, it first appeared in there. So I decided, uh, what does it say? Anyways, you saw it in the picture. Something about only cats and dogs may quarrel in my house. Live and let live. So I decided to start that up. Now, January, my theme of stitching was going to be winter. This isn't particularly wintry, but it definitely is 
how my January is going. So again, pulling my own flosses, loving it. This is on 28 count Lugana days of old. And yeah, I love the modeling, kind of the different colors in there. Um, yeah, so I've been working on this a lot January. Uh, I think I've kind of, everyone's getting along now. All the animals are getting along fairly well. So I think I'm probably going to put that away for a bit and get back to my winter stitching. Like I said, I pulled out the coldest of days and was working on that today. All right. So then on to whips. I, <laughs> in my last video going through all of my projects, I uh, kind of said that I was going to, I would like to have 12 finishes this year at least. Um, and when I was going through all of my projects in that video, this was one of the ones that I thought might be uh, a candidate for a finish in January. Picture here, it's called Rushkin's Penguins. It's by Modern Folk Embroidery. And I worked on it for a couple of days. The, uh, I think January 1st and 2nd, probably until I, ca um, until I started paws and claws. So here's where I've got to now. I believe all that I've done was kind of more of this uh, filling in this darker uh, kind of brownish, bluish, blackish <laughs> going around. What I need to finish is another penguin and a bunch of, if you can see the snowflakes that are kind of in here, you can see them, you can see them okay in in person. This is on some um, opal. It's got a bit of sparkle. I'm not sure if it's coming through. Not really. When I was getting ready for this video, oh, there are a little bit in here. When I was getting ready for this video, it was beautifully overcast outside. Now the clouds have moved and it is sun, 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 which is beautiful for January. Uh, not the best for filming a floss tube, but you know, you do what you can. All right. Other whip on the 12th of every month, my intention is to work on one of my, do I have three? I have three or four 12 days of Christmas, uh, projects. So my intention is to work on one of them, um, on the 12th of every month. And so I pulled out the ones from Hello from Liz Matthews, and I am working on day five. I'm stitching these all on one piece of fabric, and I am not doing the top and bottom funky borders. I'm just doing plain um, all around. So what I worked on on the 12th, I had the border and this bit done. I just started in up here. As I mentioned on my last video, I've started back to work which has really cut into my, poor me, cut into my stitching time. <laughs> so, I mean, the amount of stitches I'm getting in when I pull this out on a day is not, um, you know, terribly lots. <laughs> it's not, it's not really notable, but you know, it is something. So that was my stitching on the 12th. Then on the 13th, I am stitching uh, Halloween on the 13th and 31st. So I pulled out All Hallows Eve Sampler uh, by Joan Elliott, which I am stitching along with Elizabeth at Savory Sewing. Uh, we started this on Friday the 13th in October. My hope is to get this done this year. Although when you see how much I got done yesterday, I should say... Uh, today is January 12th and I'm representing Go Pack Go. Uh, we are, we have a playoff game against the Dallas Cowboys today. Go Pack Go. <laughs> so here is where I am at and all that I got done yesterday was really like half of this tree and a little bit of uh, the cat mirror image of this. It was not all that much. I, again, had to work yesterday. And um, on top of getting a puppy, I have also 
acquired a teenager, an extra teenager. One of my eldest, um, my eldest kid has a friend, a 16 year old boy who needs somewhere safe and warm to live. So um, I've offered up our house. <laughs> we have lots of room, we have lots of love. And uh, yeah, so we've been doing a lot of rearranging of rooms and um, we've got a bed together for him. This is the first time he's slept in a bed in months. So that's exciting. Uh, but yeah, between, <laughs> I've mentioned to my partner after one uh, fairly tiring day last week. I'm like, are you glad I decided to bring a puppy and teenage boy into our life? This is fantastic. <laughs> but we are, we are surviving. We will get through this. Hopefully it will settle. Um, but yeah, stitching and uh, any sort of time for myself is kind of out the window uh, until everyone is settled. I will say I'm in my hopefully forever craft room and moving new human in, we did a shuffle of four different bedrooms. <laughs> so uh, I am now, my bedroom is now my old craft room. This craft room used to be my eldest room who moved into our bedroom so that we could make room for um, our new housemate. All right, so that is what I have worked on uh, 12 days of Christmas and into the new year. Uh, let's see, as far as plans go, so today, like I said, is the 14th. On the 16th is Julie from uh, Julie and Stitches 16. It's her birthday. And she is running a sal, hashtag CCC with Julie sal. So three C's, they stand for culture, community, and cause. So she would like everybody to um, grab a pattern that relates somehow to your culture, to your community, to a cause that you are passionate about. Um, find a designer from that culture community cause that you could support and let's stitch. So I am pulling out a whip. Um, it is from a Ukrainian designer. Uh, I will have to put the info down below. I found this pattern on Instagram. I saw it. It is gorgeous. Let me show you. Here it is. It is gorgeous. Um, she is just powerful and wonderful and I love her. So I saw this on Instagram. I knew I needed to stitch it. My family, I am, one side of my family is from uh, Russia and Ukraine. <laughs> so uh, yeah, this is, it's called Victory. Like I said, I'll put the info down below. She, the designer, um, is Ukrainian. So it was kind of fun trying to figure out how to chat with her, how to buy it. Um, I can't remember what sort of payment transfer service we used, but it worked fine. And basically I would message her in English. She would put it into Google Translate. She'd mes message me back in uh, her language and I would put it into Google Translate. Uh, so yeah, it was fun. Anyways, I'm gonna be pulling this out uh, to work on because this is culture. This is just, beautiful. So gorgeous. I have worked on basically some of the flags so far. Um, oh, maybe it's over here. I can't remember. Uh, I will have to find this project. I was looking for it. Couldn't find it. Oops. <laughs> um, so yeah, that's the plan for the 16th. Hashtag CCC with Julie Sal. On the 17th, I'll be stitching on Transpride Tapestry as I do. Uh, 24th and 25th will be Christmas stitching for me, and I am working on my Santa's big bouquet. And then on the 31st, All Hallows' Eve will come out again. Um, so on to purchases for cross-stitch. 
my plan this year was to stitch, to rein in the spending, I guess, stitch from stash as much as possible. Um, but I'm not doing a strict no new starts. I'm not doing a strict no buy. Um, I know I am having, I have a start coming up with uh, Eliz Elizabeth from Savory Sewing for her birthday that I have ordered uh, most of the materials from 123 Stitch that's on the way. Uh, so yeah, I have, I have some purchases that will be coming. Uh, and I said that I would show them on this channel to be held accountable, kept accountable, like, you know, um, I will be doing my best to not buy a ton. So, uh, one thing I did get was, uh, I have loved this chart for quite some time. Let's see if it, oh, it does work. So I got this kit. It's for Kingdom of Books. I am definitely upping my reading this year. So this really resonated with me. Um, it uh, It is a Russian designer, I believe. Yes. Um, and so all of these books, I think I saw someone else working on it. And the books are all names of, I believe, Dutch architecture books, but they're writing, they're writing. They're written in Russian. Uh, I've been listening to a bunch of audiobooks while stitching. So I was thinking maybe once I get started on this, I haven't, I've opened it just to kind of look and gawk at it. But um, once I do start this, maybe I will put in the names of books or series that I'm listening to or reading, you know, in the however long it's going to take me to stitch this. I have no plans to start it, but I wouldn't be surprised if it gets started in the next month or two. Uh, okay, so I got that. Um, I ordered this stuff from a website that I'd never heard of before, but I was looking for that kit. It's called uh, Beavers beaversstash.com. So yay, Canadian. And uh, to get free shipping, I also ordered some side tensioners to go with my scroll frames. So that was that. Uh, let's see, where is, oh, reaching. Okay, the other thing that came in the mail, uh, stitching wise, was fabric. I am planning for uh, the leap year, there's a leap year sale going on. Uh, <laughs> um, this year is a leap year, so on February 29th, my intention is to start an epic project. I am choosing saga by long dog samplers and it's huge and i calculated i had to do something like 500 stitches a week in order to get it done by the next leap year in four years so i ordered um a couple of silks from silks for you sorry about the you know you know so i ordered previously this is uh pr181 Ooh, that is pretty. Uh, it's, to me, it's like copper and gold and silver, and I love it. The other silk that I had ordered was PR124, which, oh, look at those colors. Okay, so my plan is to use one of these. I just didn't know. I love the idea of this one. This just gives me the wow factor. Uh, anyways, so I ordered from 123 Stitch a couple of neutrals. These are both 40 count um, linen, half yards of each. Uh, what's this one? Antique white and silver moon. So maybe you want to help me. Silver moon with this guy. nice i will say the silver moon definitely a cooler neutral this is warmer antique white i think so there's silver moon with that guy or this guy Ooh. so either that or 
like I said, slightly warmer. Antique white. Like that. Oh, they're beautiful. Can't I just use them all? Yeah. So anyways, <laughs> the fabric is what came. I still haven't decided what um, fabric combo I am going for fabric and floss hmm. you know what I'm kind of leaning towards this guy with the silver moon it's a bit but I don't know I don't know when it's gonna be ginormous and I'm so worried about messing it up but at the same time I think they're gonna be beautiful either way and I cannot wait to break into these silks uh, I've been also kind of reading up on how to deal with these hanks of silk. So I have no problem with cutting it. I just, um, I have seen, you know, people just slicing it, uh, you know, twice like this and just stitch completely variegated. I've also seen people who, uh, cut like, the colors out and especially on something like a long dog you could use this color for some motifs and this one for another um and then I've also read of people I could put this on my yarn swift wind it into a ball and then while I'm stitching just pull off okay I want this part to be turquoise so I pull some of this off and I stitch whatever motif and then you know maybe I want some of the blue to come out I'm anyways I have just been, you know, perusing Instagram, trying to find ideas of how to uh, manage, manage that project. Ah, reaching. Uh, okay, so that's my, that's all my cross stitch. All of my new starts, whips, uh, plans, purchases. So on to knitting and I realize now, <laughs> It's not gonna be very exciting for you. I totally forgot to bring it up, but I finished two sweaters since my last video. I finished the cable one that I was gifting to my ex for Christmas and I did that and I'm happy to see it go to be done with the cables. I also finished my Marius that I was knitting for myself, but I left it downstairs, nothing to show. <laughs> so on to quilting, which is also gonna be quick um, because of kind of the upheaval that has been going on in my house, uh, there just hasn't been time or space for much quilting. I did work on my 100 Club, which if you've been following, it's through my local fabric store. Uh, basically every month I get a chunk of fabrics, um, to put into a quilt and I think it's going to take us six months we will have a finish so I worked on my December of that I need to get the January done by the end of the month I will get to it uh, and then one other thing for quilting which uh, is kind of an acquisition but it's something I signed up for I'm doing a block of the month uh, through the fabric loft which is an online store in Canada and I received my January uh, fabrics. I haven't done anything with them. <laughs> so uh, there was an option to... So here's uh, kind of the fabric palette for block number one. I have a picture that'll be easier to see. Uh, so it's 12 uh, 12 inch square blocks that we will be making throughout the year to make a quilt. Uh, so they had the option of getting that one group of fabric or you could add on a Christmas colorway as well which of course I did um and so I get every month to make the same block just different fabrics a Christmas one as well so hopefully by the end of the year I will have two uh blocks done, or two quilts done hopefully not just two of the blocks so there's the two colorways so this is the regular one and then this is the Christmas gorgeous and there is that's what the block will look like um 
yeah, actually, I guess that's not necessarily what the block is going to look like. Let's see if I can, there, with the actual fabrics, that's what they're going to look like. So that's going to be month one. I need to get moving on that once I get my machine set up. Um, yeah, so anyways, that's it. Bit of a shorter video. Great. Um, hopefully the world around me settles so, between going back to work, adding puppy, adding teenager, the room shuffle, all of that. It's just, it, it's been a lot, but I'm hoping to be able to settle, uh, get some more stitches in and yeah, uh, would I like, I would love to say that I will be back by the end of the month and go over what my plans are for February. That's what I'll say. I'll be back by the end of the month uh, to show you where I've got to and what my plans are. But again, um, plans are made to be broken. So take care, everybody. I'm happy to be back and uh, we will see you soon. See ya. Bye-bye.